<laughs> Big Man is back with an episode, another episode of playing Mario Rex. Uh, we already have 36 stars and we only need 48 to actually beat this game. This game, the second overworld, was really cool. So I'm really looking forward to the third one. It just got better and better. Uh, every time I die, I have a thing. 243 pounds on my bench, I have to do a set of bench. If I die on bench, I die in the game as well. And then it's over. The video ends. So hopefully that doesn't happen. As you can see, 48. So let's start right here. By Yoshi Milkman, Fazana and the Cozies today. I know all these creators and I know all of them make pretty good rum hacks. Okay. Then this sandy floor. Pretty cool environment already. What is this song? I swear I know it, but I don't know where from. Oh shit, we got a Webble Webble. E. Rybone Soldier. How are they called? Koopa General? I think they put the red coins all over the garden, which I am a huge fan of. I like to tell Romekas to put all the red coins in one general area so that they are not a pain to collect. I think a lot of Romekas are like, oh shit, I don't know what my last star in my level should be. Let me just fucking put red coins everywhere. I'm sure that's gonna work out. But no, this is an example of a good red coin star. Just clean platforming. If you make a rot and you just put random platforms there, and you just let Mario's movement take over, it's always gonna be fun. This game kind of has insane loading times though. Can I get up there? So a comment today told me that you can slowly rotate the camera like that. I was not aware. You just need to figure out to press the D-pad. I don't know why you would ever do that, but here we are. Oh, and now the camera is not aligned. Oh, there we are. Deep and down aligns the camera with the directions again. Alright. So that is a usable camera because I'm on, an N on a GameCube controller. But if you're playing this on N64, that is very impractical. To actually rotate the camera like that. So I feel like whoever made this ROM hack, they made the decision that every level needs to have at least one custom enemy. Okay, some random coins are secrets and others are not. And I don't know what puts them apart. This is also something hack creators like to do. Oh, I'm out of ideas for my level. Hmm, I guess I'll put secrets. Oh, I bet the last coin there was gonna be a secret. I did want to jump into that coin. And I just kinda jumped off, I'll be honest. That was a skill issue, not a brain issue. Eh? Yeah, I climb pulls fast, what about it? That was not a secret. Okay. Well then. You know what? I feel like that was a secret and I just missed it. There we go. I keep thinking there's like the ground pound jump from Return to Earth's Island, but there's not. I don't want to talk- Wow, what if the bomb opened the cannon? Oh. Mm. 
I still feel like I have no idea what really this level is. A lot of this seems like just random buildings. And I feel like I haven't really gotten an idea of what to expect from this level yet. Oh shit, even more custom enemies. I cannot figure out the female pattern behind the custom enemies though. This is supposed to be like Bowser's garden. But the dinos, are they part of Bowser's army, the dinos? Oh well. Let's see, this mission was called the Forest Shrine, and I think I saw a hole opening over there. Scanning for BLJ opportunity. BLJ found. Shit. I thought I could get there faster by BLJ. Something weird with the camera happened there. Why did I see the opening in the wall? Did I imagine that? Was that real? I imagine this is a star as well. Is this the Goomba jail? <laughs> You can grab onto those from that kind of jump. That's only in this mod. I'm fairly certain this is not the way that I'm supposed to go, but I'm not going to do the climbing. Okay, this camera is kind of ass. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I can do first this on command. What about it? Upstairs of the dungeon, to the forest shrine. Okay, I know we only need eight more stars, so I don't want to spend too long inside this level. Especially, like, because I don't want to go too much over the 48 stars. I do just want to play through it any percent, but I also want to experience every level. But I also don't know what the next mission is, so let's just leave here and give other levels a chance. Forbidden Factory, turn on the generator. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be a story base level. <clears throat> bling -a -ling. Okay, the door not having the fog effect, <laughs> kinda weird. All right, I like the atmosphere. Can I talk to this thing? <laughs> I may have something related. Come back then, we can talk details. Okay. I don't want to talk to all these characters. I'm 50 50 on this being Z fighting and this being an intentional effect. I'm not in the giant room anymore. I'm a workplace asset, says the also mighty supervisor. <laughs> what? Where did my Koopa bro go? Oh, there he is. Alright, what you got? <clears throat> the 
They need an elevator, huh? That is an interesting water effect. Huh? That's the sleet anyway. It looks like with the correct wall kick, I can grip onto that. Come on. Man. Okay, whatever. I'm not simple flips, I'm not gonna spend an hour just trying a stupid trick that might not work. Okay, this pole makes this significantly harder. Oh. Well, that was a quick start. I expected that to go way deeper. I've turned on the generator, alright. You got a mission for me this time, Coops? Oh, okay. Let's go in order. Oh, a rock card star. I'm fine with that. The music here is really good. Like, it doesn't sound like the typical Mario 64 song. I like that. I wonder if they allowed Fazana to use wave files in here, in the color project. The coins. I'm not getting anyone on coin stars today. Hmm. The last one must be in the container. What is this? Nothing. Would he make it so that the last red coin is given to me by a character I need to talk to? I feel like no. But maybe yes, so... Ooh, the Goomba is scaled down. Goombas by default are scaled up 1.5 times. So he might have missed that when making a talkable one. Very nice. Six more stars. Unlock the maintenance room. So this is this has something that the previous level I think was missing, and that is like a concise, cohesive theme. A coherent is the word. The previous level had like a cool location and it looked very pretty. But I did not understand why I was. This one I don't fully understand why I am, but like I get that I'm inside a factory in like a generator in like a fucked up town or something. What the fuck? What am I? Can I mips come through the door and break his game? I'm so sorry for this. Okay, whatever. 
Actually, it looks, it looks so close to being Rebel Ball. Oh well. Second drop, dude. Are you sure I should actually jump? I don't think I'll be okay. You'll be okay, bro. This is bait. They just want you to be LJ. I am confused by this location. Th this feels like a level that would be like part of STEM Parable. We're just like running around and you don't really know what is going on. Your body, huh? Your body wouldn't happen to be the red but okay it's the dog <laughs> what the fuck are you doing mips well 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 what <laughs> Yeah, thanks, I've been stuck in this room for at least 17 minutes. I wouldn't have lasted another 49 seconds. <laughs> Just in time. I wanna know, like, where this level leads, if there's a story behind it. I'm intrigued by this. But I'm not convinced that there will be a story or anything like that. Okay, wait, this is where I was last time. I'm not sure I understand the geometry of this. Is this the production line? That the production line. What is the BLJ block for? Do they know that you can use the red blocks to BLJ relatively not steep slopes? Oh, I can enter this one, but not the others. Well, I guess the star name helped enough to, for me to be able to figure out that I can enter this one. Where am I going? I thought this might lead to the star, and did not. What the fuck? What I do? What did I do all the platforming for? If it just brings me back to the start. This is not where I want to be. The mighty plumber never dies. What if there's a reward for bringing these two together? What if it disappears as soon as I go over here? It does not? Okay.
know something about the production line. What? <laughs> Do they produce question mark blocks or something? Lost some of them around the place. If you can find one and bring it to me, I will compensate you for it. Oh, that's what they're for. I have no idea where one is. I'm just running around aimlessly, hoping I will find one again. The mighty plumber did not die. He just fell. How do you even get up there? Are you even supposed to be able to get up here? Oh, that makes things easier. Oh, that counts. Cool. And the block is gone. The block that was there is gone. I made it disappear. I'm pretty sure. This one's probably a lot easier to bring back anyway. There you go, Coops. I was looking for those. Red block roundup. Production rush. I don't know where this is. Are they trying to tell me something here? I guess that's a death. Okay. Okay, Fazana. Okay. I will. I will. This is because of you. This is not my fault. Alright, let me adjust the camera so you can see and have proof I'm actually doing it. Actually, 243 today, not 240 because I was lazy. <sighs> I died, but it was not my fault. That's the second time an elevator killed me in this game. Reflections. All right, I'm clueless what to do in this course. I am sorry. I'm leaving. We only need four masters anyway, so let's get those in Desolate Reservoir. Ooh, ooh, oh! All right. Why did they put the last, the best levels like at the end? Oh. I did not think that this would do that. This looks like a crazy obstacle course. Oh, that's such a cool effect. This will, oh my god. The lighting effects here are so cool. The 
Should imagine you are one of those people making one of the first few courses and then in the same Romac someone did this just to make you look bad. <laughs> You'd feel like they're just fucking with you. There's this Family Guy episode where they hired an ugly girl to stand next to Mac so Mac would look pretty. That's that's what I'm getting here. They're pulling a Family Guy joke. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, I can't see? Okay. Yeah, you can hold a heart. Apparently that's a bug in my graphic plugin. I talked to the creator of this Romhack about it. Oh. That's an interesting cloud effect. I think this is supposed to be a cloud. Um, okay. That is doable, but it's a bit intimidating looking. These clouds do not feel good to stand on. <laughs> I don't feel very safe in their vicinity. This has also moved from portal test chamber thing to just a lab brain. Okay, this was just like an underground cave next to the lab. Makes sense. Oh, the whole thing's flooded now. We got rather of refractions at the top. Whoa! I found a star! How do I get it? Oh, this is an interesting rain effect. It'd be pr it would probably look a lot more convincing if there was more than one layer to it. Just like two or three. But I get that that would be kind of more expensive for console. I can see why someone would want to prevent that. Okay, camera not being very cooperative here. But it is good enough for me. I don't know what the point of that was. Huh? What is going on? <laughs> Where am I and why? <laughs> no. Honestly. Kinda of difficult, but for a last level, this seems appropriate. I could go that path. I could have gone there. It would have been possible. Trippy. Alright. They're going for some sort of effect on this level, and I kinda like it. What the fuck? Oh. Do I need to go the whole path again? I feel like if they put me there, then there has to be an earlier path to deviate from. But maybe not. That almost killed me.
uh, 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 hmm? What? Wait, what? Oh, so there's three and they go in a circle. And I'm guessing this is the other path. I don't know what this is, but this looks cool. That was a thing that Robot kept talking about, it was called server assets. I think we found it. Wow, they got me backflipping, out of all things. Water gone? Oh, that star was a lot earlier than expected. So is this level about just going through to the ending? And like every time you do something, you like advance more into the lab? further into the lab. I wonder how they could let the player know that those go more than just back and forth like visually maybe it's so confusing because they use the same Mario 64 teleportation sound effect so you would think they work the same okay there's a lot of harsh camera cuts here and they kind of work but they are also a little jarring Can I walk kick off of that thing? Well, that was an easy start. Probably skipped half the level. <laughs> oh well. I'm fine with that. That's what Mario 64 is all about. It's about freedom. Is there another wob after this? Yes, there is. I'm guessing it goes this way. I hope that's the next way to go, and not the way I'm supposed to be coming from. Do you... Nope, you do not. That's... Uh... That's a jump. Oh, that is so much closer than I thought. Oh shit, I don't want to die. Okay, so the platform's just really small, and that's why it had the illusion of being far away. That was later than frame 5. They changed with the wall they changed the wall kicks. I should not have gotten that wall kick. Yo, my dog found money. Good boy. When I started playing this before or before I started playing this, Fazana told me, Case, you're definitely gonna get a bunch of stars here. All of the stars here. But so far... Yeah. 
You know what? I have enough stars. What's in here? What the fuck? Okay, let's just go to the final boss. I, I wish I knew what was going on in this level, but I don't, and I don't know where else to go anymore. And we have enough for the final boss, so... I thought everyone, Bowser's Furious Finale. Ooh. I noticed that Mips was barely used in the last two levels. He was not really a central character, was he? Rough Mark Roof. We're almost at Bowser's Dark House. It's gonna be a long way over, so could you pick up the bone in each of the 12 areas for me? Don't worry, if you miss one, they'll save to your file when you save the game and you can pick them up another time. Bones? Okay. I'm guessing it's just a bonus star and not actually necessary. Oh, that's kind of a weird looking effect. On the grass, on the side. Oh! It's like Mario 3D World. I kinda like that a lot, cause like... It definitely signifies like, oh okay, a new area, you don't have to go back. Gives me the feeling of a bunch of small mini challenges. Shit. This is definitely possible. I'm doing this now. I'm taking the shortcut. That will take longer to execute than the normal way, but I'm taking the shortcut. Oh yeah, baby, shortcut time. It is shortcut time. <laughs> yeah, we saved so much time with that. Ah, so it's red bones, okay. Well, I'm not really interested in 100%, so we don't need the red coins here. Oh, so it's like a little piece of every level. Is, is this what we're supposed to do? <laughs> Even the Bowser Quest version of this level sucks ass. Am I being trolled? Am I just whopping down or am I actually going up? No, I think I'm actually going up. Why would they do this to me? <laughs> okay, people were saying in this card case, you're being mean to this guy. Or, well, everyone is being mean to this guy, but... But if you do this, you're, you're making it shit on purpose, right? What the fuck? Did it take that long to collect the key, or...? Was our Pokemon backed out? Maybe I should talk to this guy. Okay, why did they make it so shit though? Like, that has to have been on purpose.
Oh, come to think of it, the last level did not have a custom enemy. The last two, even. So maybe I was wrong about my guess that everyone was forced to put in a custom enemy, even if it doesn't fit. Maybe the creators actually wanted to put those random enemies in there. Well, this music kind of ruins the atmosphere. <laughs> Probably would have to say about this music, at least in this context. Did I forget to make the mines blinking? Or am I crazy? I'm sure I'll we'll find coins along the way. Oh shit, that reminds me, there will be a Bowser section of that Kaizo mechanic level that we've seen earlier. I'm kind of looking forward to that. What the fuck? Uh, if I dare, I think it's a good time to take a break. Reverse switch will, over there will save your game. Also, Warbox at the beginning of the stage will bring you back here. Warbox at the end of the stage. That better not be this thing. Oh, it's the fucking casino stage. These platforms are so claustrophobic compared to the rest of the game. Whoa, I thought. Oh, never mind. Oh, good. Oh my god. I did not think those rules would be that slidey. Oof. Where do I need to go? I don't feel safe. Get me off. Get me off. Get me off, please. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no. These things are so weird. Lucky. Oh yeah, this is what I was looking forward to. Let's see how this goes. I think the Kaiser level design works best in linear levels. Because exploring a level with my Kaiser design just sucks. And the Kaiser stuff is most fun if you know exactly where to go and you just have to figure out how to do it. quick and easier than I thought it would be. Yo, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? Am? Why would anyone think to do that? 
I literally only did that because it was the only way forward, but like someone less willing to take that risk might not do that. <laughs> I wonder if I can die from the box explosion. I'm gonna try. Eh. Infinite fall? Did a triple jump off of the top of him. That would have looked very cool. Okay, this is some crazy shit. This, they literally just random generated some geometry. <laughs> it's kind of like build your path. I kind of like it. I do not like that that burned me. Because that did not look like lava. Oh well. What level is this even based on? Oh, someone learned how to vertex color. here oh it's kind of a cool way to show you the path just use the blue coins it works it's cleaner than an arrow and it still has the functionality of showing you the path the only risk is that the player might not care about coins, like me. I literally pressed the switch because I was curious what would happen. Stop. There was more of a penalty to falling out, probably a lot more careful. But playing careful is not fun, so I do like the best little penalty for falling. I. Oh, oh I did reach this point. Oh, oh, okay. This is where I am. One more falling down and I'm out of lives. Okay, my next move better be planned because I was just doing random shit and now I'm actually in danger. I kind of like actually being in danger. I miss this a little bit. Okay, I should just do a side flip here. Easy. Dying on the last part of the Bowser level. <laughs> Man, that would suck. Coins? 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 <laughs> no. Coins, please. Oh, perfect. Bunch of empty jail cells. What the hell is that bridge? 
Okay, I can guarantee you a thousand percent, a million percent. The second I walk over that bridge, someone is gonna come and destroy the bridge. Anyone wanna take bets? I'll bet my entire life. Everything. Mario really showed up, huh? When Chain Jump came back from the pound and he's ready to kick some plumber butt. So learn some new tricks so you and your silly dog will never beat us. Don't even think about picking up mips and doing anything funny. Nothing can beat us. You'll never see the princess again. Wah ha ha. Okay, no one destroyed the bridge, but the bridge is gone. Man, I can't figure out what to do. Do you think maybe I should pick up mips? What the fuck? My super laser dog! <laughs> okay, this fight is a little jank in that you can just use the invincibility frames to stand inside Bowser. It makes this a bit trivial. He fell down. do that whoops did you know a funny trick Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I want to show you a funny trick. But maybe they patched it. Okay, they must have patched it. Uh, if you look at Bowser's tail from behind Bowser, and then Bowser turns around and you turn around, you can usually still grab him. But I guess not in this game. We don't talk about that one. There we go. Did we beat the beast? No, it can't be. You really beat me, Mario. I spent so long training at my chain jump, but it wasn't enough to crush you. Well, I mean, to be fair, you couldn't have known that my dog will shoot a fucking laser beam of that size at your chain jump. No matter what I do, I can't seem to catch a break. Oh, well, fine, you can have the princess back. I will lose again, Mario. I'll be back. Wow. He exploded into the princess. Thank you for saving me, Mario. And thank you too, Mips. Now let's all go back to the castle. I'll bake a cake for everyone. How nice of her. All right, let's see the credits. I mean, the credits were kind of all over the game. Mabel Markinon, Ashley Beverly Bean, Route 47 Pokemon X. The music here was an original. I didn't even know. I didn't know Mr. Common made music. I want to see the cake too. Hair raising high rice. Also an original. All right, this one was made by cheese pin. I didn't even realize. Oh, 
Oh, dude, I didn't even see the cloud faces here. That makes this level so cool. That level was probably the prettiest one. He used Friday, Five Nights at Freddy's music, Fi Friday Night Funkin' music. Interesting, but that is on course for Robert. Keyblader, need to hurt, yes. Yeah, I think I've seen him in the speedrunner Discord, so that explains that level. And under. Okay, I don't know this person. I also barely remember that level, to be honest. I don't know how many stars I got there. This was Yoshi Milkman. Sakura Stronghold. Oh, it was supposed to be a Japanese castle. Oh, Cozy's made this. Alright. And I'm guessing he also made the music for this one. Knew it. I really want to know what the story behind the last two levels is. I think that made those two levels special, that they had a bit of like an atmosphere and like a theme going on. These are really cool credits though, like they actually work as credits. I didn't pay too much attention to it, but I think they actually put a properly credit sprites. Are we done soon? I want to see the ending. Special thanks to the Cozy's dog. I'm sure he helped a lot. Thank me for playing! Wow. We are in the credits. <laughs> Alright, that's a pretty cute ending. Press A to reset, B to hide. Alright, that was a pretty cute game. Let me know what you thought of this game. Uh, if you want to download this yourself, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. And I'll see you in another video. See ya!